Welcome back to Ravenloft, my friends. This is Byron. And I hope you're not afraid of vampires. Because there are supposed to be some vampires around here. But don't worry. Oops, there was a lightning bolt. But don't worry. Given and Dira and Child Protectors from all harm. So, careful. Oh yes, yeah, see, and I think... There is a teleporter in here, so we're going to mark that with T1 for teleporter 1, but we won't step into it. Not yet. So we should go and explore more of that territory here. Down here. This means we should go to the north and to the west. And now there, we should wait for a um, lightning bolt. There it was. Yay. Okay. Oh, see, there are some things lying around here. Let's pick them up, I see. No. <laughs> Yay. And a halberd. Inventory full. Mm -hmm. So, what else is here? Oh. That is a dead end. No, it's not a dead end. I overlooked something there, see? Shit. Good, I do have my auto mapping kit. See, I could continue here. Where would that lead me? Wait a second, someone is attacking. Skeletons! Some weak sauce skeletons. What do we get here? A scroll of light. Okay. And a potion of extra healing. I thought we collect. Yes, that's the right box. We collect our potions of extra healing in that box. And a cleric holy symbol. Truth be told, I don't know what we should do with a cleric's holy symbol. And a scroll of fortify. Do we have. Yeah, we have light. Cure light wounds. Okay. What is that? Some sort of graphic bug. So, okay, you can only cast Fortify on himself, okay? This means if we would cast the Q-Light wounds now, we would get the most out of it. Okay, and see, Fortify is gone. Okay, but that was a graphic glitch that we encountered there. But I thought you could cast Fortify on Gilvan because she needs the healing, you know, more than he does. But no, Durin had chose to heal himself. What was shit? Yeah, that, my friends, was a teleporter. T two, and no, uh, that was not supposed to happen. But it did happen. We materialized here. Okay. Damn you. Okay. But I think we probably can get back to the other part of the level. What happens if we pull here? And here? 
interesting. Hmm, I don't know whether we can get back. We will see. But we should heal. Um, oh, wait a second. Irmgard is a cleric. She can cast healing spells. We should let her pray for spells. I almost forget that. Hmm. Detect magic and cure light wounds. I don't know. Does she need a draw, de draw externity? Oh yes, and she needs draw, st draw, draw strength as well. Okay. So we're going to give it to her. And the remove paralysis perhaps would be nice. Okay. Yep. So what do we have here? Interesting. Some weapons. We're going to pick them up. Are we protected? No, we are not really protected. We should cast a few spells. <laughs> Yep, Duran is more of a support character here. You know, all the heavy lifting is done by Gilvan. Be quiet, you stupid. Okay, so if we walk through that path, we would get attacked by the lightning bolt again, so we don't do that. Let's check out this way. Oh. We can't move through here, okay. So this means we have to be quite quick here. Ha! See? Sidestepped it. Har har. Okay. Um, what to do now? I think here is a teleporter again in the southern area. Let's check out the northern area. Whoops. -a. Oh shit. See, that is a bone golem. Yeah, you can turn him. If you use turn under on the bone golem. Okay, 
so there's an item on the ground, several items actually, a long sword and the wand of enemy detection. Both are quite well the wand of enemy detection is a little bit useless, truth be told. But there's something more lying. What do we have? We should cost the little wolves. Okay, use it. Ah, useless, okay. Oh, it's that time again, so we will have to take a break and continue in the next video. So thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.